In this first section, we will walk you through setting up a SIP trunk for your parking page. The first step in configuring the parking page device is to set up a SIP trunk in the associated call manager. So we'll log in first. And the first step in creating a SIP trunk is to create a SIP profile. So we'll navigate to device, device settings, and the SIP profile. We're going to add a new SIP profile. And you want to enter a name and description that will reflect the parking page's settings. So we'll call this parking page, or PNP for short, SIP profile. And here in the description, we can type out parking page. Once that's created, you want to save that. Next, we need to create a SIP trunk security profile. In order to do that, we're going to click on System, Security, and SIP trunk security profile. We need to click on Find. Once in the SIP trunk security profile, click the non-secure SIP trunk profile. And on the right, select Copy. We need to change that name to something that references the parking page again. We'll call this the parking page security profile. The outgoing transport type should be set to UDP. The incoming port should be set to 5060. Accept out of dialog refer should be checked. Accept unsolicited notification should be checked. And accept replaces header should be checked. Once you've verified those things are checked, click save. The next step is to actually create the trunk itself. And in order to do that, we need to navigate to Device and Trunk. We're going to click on Add New. We want to add a SIP trunk. Enter the name and description for the parking page trunk. And in the Inbound Calls section, we want to associate our calling search space with the device. In the SIP information section, the following settings need to be set. The destination address is going to be set as the IP address of the parking page device. The destination port will be the parking page's port number, in this case 5060. Your port may differ. From the SIP trunk security profile drop-down list, select the profile you have previously created. From the SIP profile drop-down list, select the profile you previously created, and then click Save. There are two route patterns you need to create, a parked route pattern and a pickup route pattern. A parked route pattern is the extension your call manager uses to place callers on hold. A pickup route pattern is the extension end users dial to connect to callers waiting on hold. Once the SIP trunk has been created, we need to create a route pattern that will access the parking page device. We need one route pattern for parking a call and we need one route pattern for picking up a call. This pound XXXX route pattern will be our park pattern. Next, we'll need to create our pickup pattern the same way that we created the route pattern. Click Add New. To find the route pattern, in this case, we'll be using two pounds as the pickup pattern and the same length for the DN, X being the variable. We want to select the same settings we did before for the route pattern and for the description, something that will indicate that this is our pickup pattern. Under the gateway route list, select the parking page trunk that was created and click Save.